Hello royal folks, it's good to see you all here again. This is your regular dose of royal news and analysis. But before we start, please subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon. Thanks. Lady Victoria Hervey, who was invited onto Dan Wooten tonight on Monday, told viewers the Duke and Duchess of Sussex should not be granted a palace summit like Sista Space boss Ngozi Fulani. Her comments come after it emerged they want their own apology after Lady Susan Hussey met with Ngozi for reconciliation talks in Buckingham Palace. Lady Susan stepped down from her role with immediate effect earlier this month following an uproar after Ngozi claimed she repeatedly asked her where she really came from at a royal reception in November. The 83-year-old, who served Queen Elizabeth II for six decades, apologized in person to Ngozi last week following the distressing ordeal. It has been reported in the Sunday Times that the Sussexes now want to sit down with the royal family to address their own issues. Socialist Lady Victoria weighed in on the allegations on GB News and claimed Meghan was Harry's handler. Lady Victoria claimed, As far as it goes with Meghan, Everything she says is made up, and as far as Ngozi goes, it just felt like a set-up from the beginning with the timing of it and everything. But with Meghan, it feels like she is Harry's handler, and she completely controls him. Now they have got this other documentary they are doing, and they are just going on and on. Harry is just being a complete puppet. Harry and Meghan released their Bongshell Netflix series earlier this month, which was made up of six episodes. The couple shared the story of how they met, fell in love, and their decision to step down as senior members of the royal family. They are now part of a Nelson Mandela-inspired documentary, soon to be aired on the streaming giant. The series, named Live to Lead, is presented by the Duke and Duchess, and will delve into the life stories of climate change activist Greta Thunberg and New Zealand Prime Minister Jacinda Ardern. The other two guests on the GB News program had conflicting views about the Duchess. Former footballer Peter Shilton felt, Meghan wears the trousers in her marriage and said Harry is obviously deeply in love with her. They moved out of the palace and said they wanted a quiet life, but they've done the opposite, he added. However, broadcaster Ellen Coughlin gave Meghan the benefit of the doubt and asked why we should not believe her. It's just been proven that racist remarks do go on in the palace, with this new apology from Lady Susan, Ellen claimed. A source told the Sunday Times, Nothing like that was ever done when Harry and Meghan raised various concerns. No meeting, formal apology, or taking responsibility or accountability. That is hard to swallow. 100% yes, they'd like to have a meeting. So what do you think, guys? Please share your thoughts in the comments. Until then, thanks for watching. We'll see you again with some more interesting news about royal family. Thank you.